Can you let us know how, what progress is going on, what recent changes the IPC have made and what they're looking to do in the near future? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, first of all, we've got some new powers, which I'm really pleased about, which is that we've got the power to require police officers to come as witnesses and be interviewed. We've needed that for a long while and we're using it. We're now using it, and in fact, we haven't had to, to, to force them to come. They've actually been coming. The problem is that some of them, when they come, still won't answer questions. They say they'll just make statements. In my view, that's not good enough. As public servants, we should be expecting them to cooperate with investigations when they're witnesses to, for example, the fact, the fact that someone has died. Um, so that's one of the things. Um, the other thing is we're getting some more new powers in legislation that's coming through later on in the year, we hope to require police forces to respond to our recommendations at the moment they don't have to. And also to have um, powers over private sector contractors. A lot of policing is now being contracted out to the private sector. And if people are doing policing work, then we ought to be able to have exactly the same powers as we have over the police. So all of those things are happening. But I think underneath that, we are making sure that we use those powers properly. We have been criticised for not using the powers that we've got. Um, and we have to make sure that we that where where we need to arrest officers we do we don't always and if we don't we won't but where we need to arrest them we will and also when we interview officers we probe what they say um, just in the same way that you would with anybody else because you've got to test all the evidence that comes before you um, and and we've got to be able to make sure that that, that we show that we're doing that. This is uh, a question of marrying resources with responsibility and I mean ha are you going to be afforded that opportunity to bring in additional resources in order to investigate more cases? Well the, the short answer is yes but I think it's a yes but as far as I'm concerned. I mean I've said from the beginning of doing this job and I said to the Home Secretary we don't have enough resource to do what we're doing now. I think you heard in the conference people complaining quite rightly about the length of time it takes us to complete an investigation as well as about the small number of investigations we can do. Now, if we want to do things thoroughly, with the resources we've got, we've sometimes got to take far longer than we would want, or families would want, or indeed the police would want. We've been promised more resources, but we've been promised more resources so that we can do more. And the trick will be to use those resources effectively, to use them sometimes to try to exert leverage over the way that the police themselves investigate, but also uh, in relation to doing more of our own investigations, and making sure we use those resources properly. And finally, how important does it remain to you for the IPCC to remain independent of forces and what they're doing? It's absolutely crucial. It's the first, li first line of our name. We have to be independent. We have to be independent of government as well. I mean, we, are, we have to show in what we do that we are independent. I've always worked for independent organisations. I've never been a civil servant or member of the police or prison services. I've been, I've been in the voluntary sector and then inspecting prisons and, and now in this job. So it's really important that we are and that we are seen to be independent. I mean, sometimes the answers we come up with won't be what complainants or families expect or want. We have to recognise that because, because we, are, we, are, we, aren't, we aren't acting for families. But we are there to make sure we ask the questions that they want answered and that we really do probe the evidence we get.